Welcome to this short screencast on how to use 2D rerun for uh, orienteering technical analysis on training camps. As it's training camp time and as my girlfriend is going to Turkey on Saturday and needs some help, I'm uh, going to share it with all of you. So uh, let's go and find a training from, uh, from Turkey down here. Uh, I saw one earlier, some link semester scope. I have to sort by date, I see remember. And uh, ooh, here it is, Thomas Natvig Osta. Um, there are a lot of trainings here. Thomas Natvig Osta, Ludwig Lundqvist. We just take them all and open the routes into the rerun. We could have chosen to use only a few routes. We can choose which map we want to have as a background map by clicking on the star here. Uh, but now we just take all and take the first available map as a background map. Open the routes in uh, 2D rerun and uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, using the mouse you can move around on the map. The mouse wheel you can zoom in and out. Alternatively you can use the keyboard minus to zoom in, out plus to zoom in. Uh, you can use the mouse to place all the runners anywhere, just click the mouse anywhere on the map. You will place them, control 3, control 1 and so on. Uh, so if you want to simply replay the first leg as uh, a mouse start from the start, you just click on the start and click play over here. Leonard here started somewhere else, so we just take him away. Hitting C, you get the map automatically centered on uh, one of the runners. You can uh, choose which one you center on by clicking B or V. So now it's uh, Eric here, which, which we are centering on. And uh, just like in GPS Saranta, you can play off uh, what's happening in the race. This is the simplest way to, to use 2D rerun. And of course you can restart from, uh, from anywhere <coughs> here from 7 to 8 by clicking at number, uh, number 7. And if you click C again we get rid of this centering. Okay, this was the simple case. Now, what I usually want to do is to compare uh, the root choices on a, on a leg. So, Let's take here the leg from number 7 to 8. We go up here to the right and choose split analysis. We click on control 7 to start all runners there. Then click on control 8 and we get the splits and corresponding split times. To the right here we see split times and uh, how far behind they are and the lengths they've been running. And we also see the times directly here. There's, there are some tricks with the keyboard. You can click A to get the legend in another way. I usually like to have it uh, like this. Uh, now, looking quickly here, it's not easy to see what's the fastest. But if you click color by time up to the right here, you get the routes colored by time. And you can see that mostly the fast routes are run up here to the right. And that's uh, if we just hide all the routes you see that the fastest have uh, used the path system uh, instead of just going uh, directly. And that's probably because it's more secure to run here that we have uh, a majority of the runners who are fast go going here. Okay, uh, another uh, good way to analyze uh, a race is to uh, use the so-called auto analysis. So again, let's uh, show all runners. Let's click to the start to take from the start and all the way to the last control. Uh, we can also return to ori original colors here. And then let us uh, compare the first here with the second runner, Thomas Natvik with uh, Joachim Hedoskog. We take the only the top two. Uh, and then we see first differences in root choice. But if we hit calculate auto analysis here, uh, 
we get this nice visualization which shows us where uh, Thomas Natwig has uh, lost and earned time to Joachim Hederskog. So here from, uh, from start to first control uh, we have three seconds uh, lost for um, for Natwig because uh, Hederskog is either green or red. Green when he is faster, red when he is slower. Thomas Natwig is always blue. Uh, so three seconds lost here, five seconds uh, lost for Hedosko here, 14 to 17. So in this way you get a quick overview of uh, where the, the race is lost or, or fought here. 38 seconds lost and you see clearly why. The, the wrong compass direction here. And here again uh, a mistake. These, uh, these splits are automatically made uh, where the program thinks uh, you have had the same root choice or different root choice. So uh, they don't always hit correctly, it's not too bad here. Uh, actually it looks quite quite okay here, but sometimes you can hit them into the control, uh, control and out of the control. So that was the auto analysis. Uh, we also have an undocumented feature which can be quite nice, which is uh, a speed analysis. If we take a split analysis from say number 1 to number 7 here, and if we hit 1 on the keyboard, we get these kind of pace graphs where you can see, you can follow this, uh, this black dot and see where the speed goes up for the different runners. So you see the red runner here uh, is slow into the control and slow again out of the control. Whereas the green runner uh, slows down a lot less in the control. You see here they have the same speed all the way towards the control. Then there is a slow into and out of the control. Again here slow at the control. Again here slow at the control. here slow at the control and mistake uh, here at number five so so this is uh, one way of of analyzing uh, a race as well okay i think we have been uh, been through the most important uh, things here we can uh, go back and uh, try to see if we find another uh, race of interest uh, for example, um, the uh, Portugal O meeting, the first day there, there are lots of routes. Um, we can take Scott Fraser, for example, Eustin Kvalestabe, Milos Nopnikodim, Sirokov. Who else? Yeah, I know that we have another route which is posted on the wrong day so we can take find routes maps in the vicinity on other dates because Matthias Miller's map is also here but on another date. Uh, I think we have enough now we can open them in 2D rerun. I don't know if we were happy with the background map no we were not but it's good enough for, for the, the demonstration now. So here we can take for example uh, a split analysis from, from 10 to, uh, to 11 and uh, again I click A to toggle the, the legend type can even move the legend away and I color by time so we see here that th the quickest routes are the one which which go uh, go to the north in the start and uh, the quickest here uh, of the ones we have is Scott Fraser who, who goes in an S and goes south here uh, what I often need to do on these long legs if I want to have accurate uh, split analysis is to go and uh, adjust the start or end of the route. If I hold shift and take the mouse left and right I can adjust the starting point and the ending point of the uh, of the route. So here for Scott I guess this is the correct starting point so I get a more accurate time. So we can do that for, for all runners. And then you get uh, split times which are a lot more accurate than uh, what you have if you just point and hope.
So I basically do it this way uh, always when I want to be, be accurate. Here is the control. As you see, the map is not uh, perfectly adjusted for, for this case, but uh, it's, it's no big problem because you still understand uh, how, this, uh, how this works here. I guess he found the control here. So then we can uh, show all here, and we have times which we can trust a little bit more. Uh, as for the other case, we can also do an auto analysis from uh, from the start here till uh, till the end. Here I would choose now maybe they had to start beside each other, so I think we should take it from the first control. If not, it might not work. And let's choose Scott and Milos. Calculate auto analysis. If we're lucky, it works. It didn't work, they have to start together, so uh, from here I think it should work. It's a bug which I could maybe fix sometime, but it's good enough, I guess, for now. So here you see uh, the difference is very good, how uh, Milos goes to the right, Scott goes to the left, Milos loses some time. And here is an example of this split being the wrong place, it should actually have been here. Here again, time loss here due to mistake, but also here it, it should maybe have been a little bit off. But uh, you can easily understand uh, the development in the race by looking at this uh, auto analysis. Okay, we can again show uh, this um, uh, the splits. Um, show all, return to original colors, because what I usually do when I start analyzing a course is I start from number one to two, get up the roots, continue to number three next, and I take all the way, ah here we lost some of the map, take all the way and look at one control at a time, and you can do it really quickly and understand where uh, where somebody uh, loses. Okay, I think that's it for now. Thank you very much for uh, following. I hope it was useful to uh, to some of you. Uh, it's a very short introduction. Thank you.